Hello and welcome to T3. One of the many ways Make It Work helps you achieve a stress-free digital lifestyle. I'm Jeremy Anticoni, and here's what's trending. Concerned parents now have several options to ensure that their teens aren't driving distracted. There's several new apps available, including Eyes Up, Text Blocker, Cell Safety, and Zoom Safer. These applications will lock the phone when it detects it in motion using GPS. The screen will change to messages blocked, and incoming calls will go directly to voicemail. Text messages won't appear, and only 911 or other pre-programmed phone numbers will be allowed. Some additional features include the ability to use GPS to pinpoint the location of the phone, and drawing a boundary around a particular area to create a no phone zone. A big problem though is how does it determine if the teen is driving or is a passenger? Well, each app does it a little differently. One will text a parent asking for permission to unblock, while another will actually have the teen do a timed puzzle, which is pretty scary if they are actually driving. These applications are available for the BlackBerry and Android devices, but not the iPhone. Google is expected to unveil some new software that will run on TV set-top boxes next month at their I.O. developer conference. Google has partnered with Sony, Intel, and Logitech, and the software is expected to run on Google's Android operating system. This could mean that several things could be possible. Developers could potentially create applications that run on these set-top boxes to create an interactive TV experience. The user interface could be customized based on who's watching TV, and looking further down the road, if they tie to an existing Google account, you'll likely see some user-specific advertising, meaning if you search for a vehicle on Google in the morning, you may very well see relevant vehicle advertisements that evening. Google is currently running a limited beta with Dish Network, and the software reportedly allows users to search across the provider's programming and the internet for content to watch. One of the problems that we face as everything goes online is the number of user accounts and passwords that we have to memorize. So many people use the same user ID and password for all of the websites they register at, which is a horrible idea, since if one is compromised, many doors could open. Others use simple dictionary words, their kids' birthdays, or even the word password. Passwords can be easily cracked if they're not complex, and some simple social engineering can extract lots of personal information to guess at people's passwords. So how do you pick a better password? Start off by not using any dictionary words or personal information, and make it as complex as you can. Use upper and lowercase letters, some numbers, and special characters. Consider replacing letters with symbols. For example, instead of the A, use an at sign, or a dollar sign instead of an S and definitely create different passwords for all your sites. Perhaps create a base password and then add something that's site specific. You can also use a password manager. I recommend RoboForm for the PC or 1Password on the Mac. These apps will store your password so you only have to remember one to get in and automatically log you into secure websites. They'll even generate complex passwords to give you increased security. So while you're thinking about it, go make your accounts a little more secure and change your passwords. Thanks for tuning in for T3. For tech trends and more, visit makeitwork.com. I'm Jeremy Anticoni, and that's what's trending.